Hello and welcome back to another episode of Interviews with Survey. The name is still in the works. Today we'll be interviewing Bartholomew Osiris Blade Song. Let's welcome him in. Oh God! What welcome, Bartholomew. I'm Survey, God of Inquisition. You've been summoned to my realm to answer a few questions about your experiences as an adventurer. Why? What? I, I mean... I'm the God of Inquisition. I ask questions. It's what I do. F All right. Okay. For your participation today, I will enter you into a prize draw, and then I'll send you back to wherever you came from without any recollection of what went on here today. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds pointless. Well, we'll see. <laughs> so, uh, tell me about your adventuring party. Empty. Useless. Yes, they're just props. <laughs> tell me about your adventuring party. What do you think of them? Baradun and the dickheads. First of all, don't love the name. Appropriate. Uh, but they're okay. I couldn't afford the tax on oh, the farm. Oh, this is making so me feel bad. That. This is making oh, me feel bad. Just guys. ignoring it. I'm ignoring it. My wife died a year ago. They're definitely not the best. <laughs> Tell me about Baradun. What do you What do you think of him? Baradun is a dickhead, quite frankly. But you know where you sit with him. Right. You know, he's an arrogant prick. He's always gonna be an arrogant prick. Don't worry, guys, I know what to do. I've got the plan for everything. I'm the best bloody sorcerer in the world. Shut up, Firebolt. Anything you'd expect an arrogant prick to do, Baradun, you know what he's going to do, yes. Uh, tell me about Bodger. What do you think of him? Bodger is all right, um, pretty f***ing stubborn. He's your brother, Bodger. And he's a traitor. Obsessed with getting back to Honeywood for some reason. I yes, don't know he why. He doesn't have anything going on there. But Honeywood. I'm going yeah. back to Honeywood. Yeah. I've got motivation to go back to home. Honeywood, yeah. It's a shithole of a town. It's nothing. It's tiny. It's and a. His... It's a shit-filled lake, a garlic shop, and an empty tent. And he's so obsessed with getting back there. Th I don't, that's I... the thing. His blacksmith shop was shut down. Right. He doesn't have anything tying him to Honeywood. Exactly. Not there I don't anymore. know. But he's constantly like, right off to Honeywood. Why? Why? There's so many other places you could go. It's bizarre. One of the major questions that I have here in this realm of Inquisitions. Uh, Greg, what do you feel about him? Competent adventurer? No, he's a little psychopath. He puts on this little front of like, oh, hello, adventurer, I'm just a garlic farmer. But half the crazy dark shit we've done has been his idea. I beheaded an old man because of him. You have to cut his head off, cut his head Just cut This is the worst, worst day ever. I mean, you did have quite a say in decapitating Frank. Well, I mean, yeah, it wasn't it's like he didn't exactly twist my arm, but it was his idea. It and was. I'm just saying, like, he presents this very clean, innocent facade, but he's not. He's a dirty little psycho. With the kill pill. Let's find something to burn! And I wish you'd just acknowledge as much. Yes, of course. Uh, now, <laughs> I'm quite good friends with the God of Luck, and, uh... You f***ing what? Yes, well, <laughs> we like to uh, unwind with a glass of schadenfreude and just... Make bets on when you'll legitimately lose your mind. Yeah, I bet you f***ing do. <laughs> Have you um, always been unlucky or just since meeting the dickheads? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, how do you justify luck? I don't know. Because there are some things that have happened in my life that are bad at the moment but turn out to be good later on, you know? <laughs> However, I will say I have come much closer to death far more frequently oh. since hanging out with these lot. I don't know what it is, you and the god of luck, I don't know what the f*** you're up to, but it's been an absolute nightmare. Every single time we get into any kind of conflict or combat, it all directs straight at me. The odds are ridiculous. Of course! <laughs> There's a saying, roll outside of a dice tray and you get what's coming to you. This is not gonna go well. <laughs> that sounds like a stupid... Who says that? It doesn't, it's, it's, Who it's, says it's, that? It doesn't translate into common. It's In Celestial, it's very beautiful. Mm, it's anyway, um, beautiful. speaking about your history, uh, you're from quite a large family, right? Correct, yeah. Yes? Uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, there was 13 of us. A bunch of them have died. I think we're at nine now. I haven't uh, checked in uh, with the family. Could you in a remind me who they all are in order? Oh, for God's sake, mate. I haven't seen them in a hundred years. Yes, it, but they are your brothers and sisters. You uh, hang on. Give me a sec. There's Mob, Jab, Nab, Rob, Gob, Sob, Bib, Gib. Bib, what's, what's up? up, you ugly? <laughs> Quite elven names, very traditionally beautiful. You don't want to get on the bad side of mob, you idiot. Those are all the shorthands, obviously. Right, like right. I'm Bartholomew Osiris Blade Song. But you chose to go by Bob. Well, I didn't really choose it, it's just my initials, isn't it? Very well. It's just how, how our family operates. I, honestly, it used to annoy me a little bit. I was like, Mum, Dad, did you really have to name us all to a convention? Like, it feels a bit for- you know, now, Speaking about your family, you have quite an interesting tradition among the Blade Songs of jumping inside of an animal and exploding it. Yeah. 
<laughs> this <laughs> pussy said, so we're yeah. like, oh, it's a bear! And oh, I was no, like, it's a bear! Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Can you tell me how that began? No one really knows. It's just something we've always done. Going back generations. Yeah, generations. Wow. It's part of a family tradition at every big gathering. Uh, before we roast the pig, we often have a... Well, we have two pigs. We have one that's going to go on the spit that you... Actually going to roast. eat. And then the other one is kind of the ceremonial pig. So the spit pig and the party pig. Yeah, the party pig. And the eldest uh, member of the family will climb inside and explode from the inside. Ah! That sounds actually quite like a beautiful tradition. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then the first person to get the blood on them, they're kind of, it's kind of like throwing the, the flowers at a wedding. Right. You know, it's that kind of thing. They get that and then they are the next one to... <laughs> just, just as beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever regret exploding anything? Never. Ah! Why I explode it from the inside out? Not the voracious quake? Why would I regret that? I mean, you consumed his blood and that led you on an irreversible path into becoming a warlock to some sort of unknown entity patron of some kind that may or may not be evil or yeah, will yeah. destroy And now I can or... shoot shit out my eyes, mate. Right. Right? So no regrets? No. Why? I'm gonna die you now, giant. Oh, God. You seem rather chaotic yeah. in nature. Why not? Why wouldn't you be? Why not? Why not? Give me a reason. Why not? Speaking of chaos, um, let's talk about the, um, what's it? Um, uh, oh, what's it? What's it? Yes. Yeah, what's it? My boy. My little baby. What? What do you mean? He's my, he's my son. He's a demon. Yeah. You know what demons are? Yeah, my son. Well, they're literal, not all of them. literal embodiments of chaos and evil rolled yeah, into yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they're tangible chaos. Yeah. He's a handful. <laughs> He's a fucking handful. Scratches and claws. Ow, ow, ow. Cancel that! Cancel that! Get off! Get off! He's get looking off. for children to be victims. Okay. No! 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 He seems to suit your party rather well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I love it. I love it. You never know what he's gonna do. Go find a little critter and rip it apart. <laughs> It runs off towards the tree. No, 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 I've been teaching him how to crawl inside things and explode them from the inside out as well, carrying on the family tradition it's, in demon form. It's endearing in a very psychotic way. Yeah, exactly. So we're almost out of time, but here's one from our viewers. Um, viewers? What? Yeah, well, the other celestials, the angels and the spirits, the unicorns. Oh, those those uh, pricks. Yes. Um, they, they asked, are you an NPC or a player in this game? Right, oh, wait, well, actually, I'm just hearing from my finger, this is all the time we have for today. Guess I'll just go f myself then. Uh, well, you, I mean, this, you've got to pass the time somehow when you're awake exactly. and the others aren't. Exactly. Uh, so, thank you for joining us. Is there any particular prize you'd like from the prize draw, if you were drawn? Gold. Gold? Yeah, heaps of gold. Very well. That'd be great. Well, thank you very much for joining me, Bartholomew Osiris Bladesong. And be sure to join us next time on Survey welcomes a guest in to talk to them about their experiences. Why can I not think of a name for this show? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, one of the best ways you can support us is through Patreon. So if you haven't already, go check it out. Wherever it is. Somewhere. Down.